now, of course, it has to be, first of all, you have to pass it. It has to get through the legislature. Everyone in this room has something to do. All the members of the assembly, we have to get it through the legislature. And then my team, working with the folks in this room, have to actually make it happen. Uh, and first among them is Secretary Eric Bean. Thank you, Governor Raimondo. I want to echo uh, your thanks to Joanne for hosting us here today and acknowledge the elected officials in the room, Senator De Palma, Rep. Diaz, Rep. Ruggiero. I also want to acknowledge uh, my colleagues in the Health and Human Services Cabinet, Director, B Director Bacola, Director Yarn, and uh, Director Alexander Scott just walked into the room. I'd like to acknowledge her as well. The departments under the Secretariat uh, are designed to promote health, protect children, and nurture people's quality of life. And the line we will never cross is failing to protect those we are meant to serve, whether it's families, children, neighbors, elders, or veterans across Rhode Island who need us. We should always put their needs first. But for the last 10 years or so, we haven't been doing that. Since 2007, for budget reasons, services were dropped for people when they turned 18 without regard to what role those services were playing in ensuring that they get on the right path. We are making a commitment to providing more support through important formative years of an older youth's life. The stakes are high for 18-year-olds. Actions they take at that age have great consequences. You're, these are the years when they're discovering themselves, deciding what they want to be when they grow up. This commitment will give youth support as they take on some training, go to school, perhaps under the Rhode Island Promise Scholarship, free of tuition, or work part-time. So I'm pleased to come together with everyone here today and thank all the advocates who helped put this on the table and remind everyone of the importance of this work. I look forward to working with you all on the implementation stage as well.